and car company plans to expand and relocate to Richards Boulevard. The move comes as good news to local businesses eager for some new eyes. But Sacramento Regional Transit says not so fast. It sees a conflict of interest. So what is RT's issue with this new booming business? CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joining us live along Richards Boulevard getting answers. Macy? Well, Adrian and Sam, Luxury Motors bought this warehouse back in July. But take a look. An eighth of a mile away, there's a light rail station. And Regional Transit says that makes this a bad location for an auto shop. Here on Richards Boulevard, the businesses are few and far between. It would be nice to have a little less, you know, ugliness on Richards Boulevard. And Luxury Motor Cars in East Sacramento had the same thought. This is a, a good venue close to downtown that would fit our business perfectly. Perfectly. The company sells high end vehicles and plans to move its business into this warehouse on Richards Boulevard. But first, the owners need a permit from the city. Um, I hope they approve because I think it's a good fit for our business. And next door at Rudy's Metals, Craig Coble says new business could mean new shoppers in this neighborhood. I think it'd be great for the, the area and stuff. You know, it helps boost up the, the area, the economy. You know, it might bring more jobs to the area. But in this letter to the planning division, Sacramento Regional Transit denounces luxury motors, saying an establishment of this type will not encourage transit use and is not consistent with the principles of transit-oriented development. RT prefers seeing things like offices and houses go up near the township station because they attract more riders. But we wanted to know how many riders are using the Green Line, which runs along Richards Boulevard now. In June, 99% of riders took the blue and gold lines, while fewer than 1% rode the Green Line. But with the building just an eighth of a mile from the light rail, Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality opposes the auto shop, too. The department says it won't help light rail get more riders or make the River District a transit oriented community. Luxury Motor Cars partner John Brazier disagrees. I think our kind of business, that high end specialty car business, is a great sign of revitalization in the community. Now, RT does have an alternative. Find a different location a half mile away from the station. Now, there is a public hearing set for this Thursday. It will be very interesting to hear some of the feedback from that. All right, Macy, thanks so much for that live report.